joined by Dawn Pivenga. She is the founder and MD of Interfaith. Dawn is one of Australia's leading occupational therapists. I wanted to touch base about what has changed ultimately in your business uh, due to COVID-19. I mean, because really you're supposed to be going out and seeing um, lots of claimants, particularly in the personal injury space. Yeah, sure. So um, the first big change was um, we've sourced experts around the country and also from New Zealand. And so the first big change was that we they couldn't travel. So when the borders closed between New Zealand and Australia and then some of the interstate borders as well, that had a big impact for some of our staff. We had to just source assessments in the regions that they could travel to. Um, for New Zealanders, that's locked down even further. And then um, it's been really, well, initially day to day, but it's been about how do we protect our, um, the clients that we're assessing, um, who we call our customers, the claimants, and also our staff. So understanding and being really on top of the government and association and APRA's policies in terms of um, how do we assess people. In some ways, our client groups are fairly safe because most of them are actually quite self-isolating. Once um, people have claims, a lot of them actually become quite homebound. Um, and But we're just doing the right things in terms of checking in with them, letting them know that it's still business as usual, but then checking in with them um, 24 hours before to check that they're still well, that they haven't traveled, that they haven't been in touch, that they've been honoring the lockdown and assuring them that we're the same. So. We've done some video and Zoom assessments. Yeah, um, so that's what I wanted to ask you about. How yeah. uh, are you finding that the video assessments are working uh, from your end, or do you find that they've got certain limitations? Uh, and are you happy with them, or, or do you feel like they're they're not really working? They're not working. So, uh, um, so we're we're finding that's not quite true they're working in a very limited way so um occasionally we get asked to reassess clients or to comment on just one small aspect of somebody's function so um for some areas of our work like the ndis disputes um i care sira we might be asked to go back in and see someone or just look at one task um what we're finding though is the rapport building that comes with sitting in somebody's room in their home, asking them very personal details about how they're managing showering and toileting and dressing is really difficult to establish by um, by Zoom conference. And people don't know who, you know, um, the privacy is really important. We're dealing with health and big, big kind of health issues. And people don't want to disclose that information to a person they've never met via video. Video. We respect and we understand. <laughs> Thanks for that insight, Dawn, and uh, take care and hope you and the team keep well. Thank you.